which is, um, I think I told some of you, that's what we started out doing when we first came. And the Spirit of the Lord said for us to go back and, if it worked before, it's still Amen. working. Amen. Amen. And I believe God is doing a miraculous work in all of our lives. Amen. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be anywhere else now but in his own. Amen. Amen. I think the songwriter says, safe in his own. Amen. Brother Greg, so good to see you, man. We've been praying for you. Amen. Brother Greg, do you have to have the second surgery? We'll find out on the 18th. Oh, let us pray, church. God, we bless you. We thank you. And God, one of our brothers, one of our leaders here in the church, God, yes. even though um, we have said it's routine, it's a routine procedure, and God, we ask you to go before him right thank now. Thank you, Lord. The surgery on the elbow, God, we know that you can and we know you will. Hallelujah. You're doing it already, God. Hallelujah. Amen. Bless. We give your name praise. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. We bless God and we honor God for this opportunity. Austin family, I don't know. The, the little one that's visiting with you all. What's her name? Kaden. 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 Reverend Carnetta, when you said, let us pray, you know, the Bible says, watch as well as pray. Mm -hmm. So while y'all was praying, I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> and in my watching, I saw little Kaden back there. When Reverend Carnetta said, you know, she said all she said, and, and then when she said, let us pray, look, Kayla said. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's been watching someone. Amen. 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 And I see our little preachers back there, amen. amen. His mama, his grandma say he be all over the place. <laughs> and and since, he, since he be on the back seat rocking when the men singing amen. I foresee him to be up here. Amen. One day. Amen. 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 Thank you, Grandma, for, for letting him tag along with you. Amen. Amen. There is a word from the Lord, and certainly I'm I'm so proud of, of, of our missionaries and certainly of our church to to bring emphasis to cancer. Now, I must, we must say, it's not a person in here that some way, somehow, that our families have not been affected by cancer. Amen. Some of us more than one time. Yes. Amen. Some of us grew up in a generation when parents and grandparents, they didn't tell what it was. Amen. But now that we know a little more, we know now what it was. Amen. Amen. And I think now we're talking about it more. Amen. Because as pastor, you know, sometimes I would I would go to pray for people. And Reverend Carnetta would go to pray for people. And, and they never would say what was wrong. Amen. Yeah, amen. But we knew the symptoms and we knew the signs. And, and so we... Over over the years, it seems that we're, we're a little more at ease about talking about it. And I think it's because as a congregation, you heard Miss Cynthia and others got up and talked about it, how they've been affected by it, but it didn't knock them out. Amen. 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 If nothing else, Sister Christy, you be encouraged to know that God can and he will. Amen. And, and I think Reverend Carnetta was telling us something about our confessions. Mm -hmm. That we have exactly what we confess. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, Dad, if you would have listened to what everything everybody was telling you over 10 years ago, you wouldn't be here now, would you? Amen. But he's still going and he's still faithful. Amen. Amen. So to God's name, we said be praised. Hallelujah. Now, there is not much I need to say because I'm just, 
Is it all right to say we're happy in the Lord? Amen. 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 I was just rejoicing and just saying, Lord, I thank you. Amen. Just happy in the Lord. We've been talking about we are not a church operating on life support. And, and I think you've identified that today. And certainly um, in our vision of doing outreach in, in the Newberry area, we, we are not a church on, on life support. For we realize God is a good God. Amen. And we want to share the message with others. Amen. 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 They've been in worship with us by way of YouTube. And part of Sister Kim, Sister Kim Gary, her vision was for us to be live streaming. Amen. 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 I had one of the members, because they saw our prayer request, we've been praying about scouting ministry. We've been praying about our campus being Wi-Fi. And I had a member ask me, Pastor, first of all, what's the campus? <laughs> and I explained, uh, Brother Huff, I said, the campus is, as soon as you step on the grounds, everything you see and touch Amen. is Mount Hebrew, man, man. Amen. And then when I talked about it being Wi-Fi, I said, well, with our iPhones, with our iPads, and, 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 and even laptop computers, we'll be able to go online but also be able to stream our services at the same time as we're having them. Amen. Amen. Now, it's not a right around the corner, but we got a vision to do it. Amen. Amen. And some things are in place and getting in place. So we just praise God and, and we thank God. The Wi-Fi piece is going to be here. Just, just, just keep your seatbelt on because you notice the houses being built. Amen. Amen. You know they're going to have broadband, they're going to be Wi-Fi, so all we're going to have to do is mm -hmm, just tap on, amen. Y'all just wait, just wait, just wait. People are cursing them houses coming, no, let them come. The water, y'all, they, no, they ain't got no well over there. They ain't got no septic, they tapping on, so just like, oh, boy, look, y'all y'all see where we're going now, Amen. Just as they tap it on We the Church, we're going to be able to tap it on. <coughs> we're going to have to, now saints, we're going to have to learn how to talk. Amen. 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 Oh. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes you have to stroke them. Amen. Amen. I've learned that with church folk. Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you talk with lemons, but <laughs> oh, you ain't get that done. But if you talk with a little sugar, Look, well, sweetie, sweetie. <laughs> At the end of the day, you get what you need. Amen. Amen. That ain't no trick. Amen. That's what I've learned. Amen. 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 If you being nice to me and you talking nice, amen, I, I'll walk with you. I'll help you. And some of y'all got the same kind of attitude. Amen. But if you come barking orders at me and tell me what I'm going to do, and, mm -hmm. and then you, 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 you don't get to roll in your head and... Pointing the fact that I, I said, as soon as you finish, I'm going to respect what you said, but you didn't get nothing from me. Amen. 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 Church is no different. Amen, y'all. Y'all so deep, but uh, church ain't no different. But we are a church, not on life support. And we dealt with that uh, some last, sun last Sunday. And, and so we're going to finish it up this Sunday. That if you turn with us to Acts chapter 2, verses 42 through 47. And you will see, ushers, you may be seated. You will see that even in our bulletin today, our ministry of assistance, Sister Angela Glenn, has been able to say that part of our ministry, we are a ministry that are meeting needs, we are fellowshipping one with another, and, and we're trying to be there for our brothers. Amen. Trying to be intentional about ministry. Now, a ministry that's operating on life support, there is no heartbeat. Mm -hmm. There is no life. Amen. There is no joy. Mm -hmm. One of the praise reports from last Sunday, one of our members, she, she was not able to come on the inside, but she was able to hear the worship. Amen. She had to get back to work. 
But one of the things um, Sister Angela shared with me, she said she was like one of the little rascals and she was pouting all the way back to work because she knew it was life on the inside of the church. Amen. And that lets us know, my people, we're doing something right, that we're not dead on the vine, but that we're full of life and, and that God is blessing us. Yes. Not to say that we're a perfect ministry, not to say that we're not a ministry that, that do things wrong, but we're trying to do it as the Spirit of Christ is directing us to do. Amen. Amen. So I know that it's of God. For everything that we're about to do. And, and, and Sister Bates, isn't that called the Grand Communion? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is right on time. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. My brothers and sisters, in order that we, and, and that we may continue to flow as a church that's full of life, to be a church that's meeting the needs of its members and be a right now kind of church, Go with me also. I know our foundational scripture is Acts chapter 2, verse 42 through 47. But also go to Matthew's gospel, chapter 6, verse 33. Some of you don't even have to go there. You know it by memory. Amen. Seek ye first. Oh, bless the name of our God. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. Amen. And what does he continue to say? All these things. All these things. Now see, some of y'all are looking at me and saying, Pastor, what are all these things? Look at the three verses uh, at the top of that. Y'all, anything you could desire, anything you may need, it's part of all of these things. Amen. So do you not know that, that we are an intentional ministry, that everything we commit to prayer, mm -hmm. you heard Reverend Cardinetta in her prayer, she was confessing not only for God to bless now, but even whenever the doctor's appointment is to be, we are accepting that God will do just what he said. Amen. Now the last time we checked, we, we, we heard God was a way maker. Mm -hmm. God was a healer. Oh no, Pastor, he is. Yeah. Because some of you in here, you are in here right now because God made a way. Amen. I don't know. You were on death's door. You, you were, they, they were calling in the family. They had all, already set up arrangements with the undertaker. But look at you. Oh, you said, oh, I'll put that on that way. I'm still alive. Amen. Why? Because Matthew 6 and 33 says we must recognize God first. Amen. 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 If you want to be blessed, God first. Seek God first. Make God first. Make God priority in your life. Yes. Some of us, we are missing it because we do not make God first in our lives. Amen. We just use God as a spare time. We pick him up just when we need him. Or, or when we're running out of something, we say, oh God, I need you to. Oh, but if you just keep walking in relationship with God, keep Walking with God in prayer and in his word first. Yeah. God will and he can. Yes, he and, and the word of God reminds us that he keep making ways out of no way. Yeah. Now, saints of God, after we seek God first now, I got to tell you something. You need to start living right. like God is first. Come on now. Yeah. See, a lot of folks are saying God is first, but you still live in any kind of way. Right. You, you got to live such a way that every day you ask God to lead you. You ask God to guide you. You ask God to direct everything and everywhere that you do. And you know God will bless it. And see, we need to stop limiting God because for some of our confessions, we are limiting what God is doing in our lives. We are just speaking what we have right now. We're speaking what it is we've known God to do, but you need to take the limits of God and allow God to do just what he said he will do. Yeah. Well, we are a 
ministry. We are a church that's alive and excited in God. First, because we recognize that God is in control. He's first. Secondly, that we permit God's spirit to move in this place freely. Yes. Y'all, whenever we get to a place where we control God and we say God can't come in here. Do you not know that there are some churches that are in operation. There are churches going through the motion, but there is no spirit. That just is dry. No amen, no hallelujah. Don't even try to sing. Amen. Much less get your shout on. Amen. amen. You know your two-step, your three-step and a slide. Oh, don't even try that. Eh? You try that at the church down the street because we don't do that here. But but I've understood that you don't know what it takes for me to get my praise on. Because you were not there when the Lord saved me. You were not there when he delivered me. You were not there when he brought me out. Amen. So don't tell me take all that. Amen. Oh, bless the name of If I need to sing six verses of a song, I'm going to sing six verses because it'll get me where I need to be. It'll get me on base with God for God to do just what he said he would do. It is a blessing, saints of God, when we permit God's spirit to move freely in this, this space. It's a blessing when we, the body of Christ, come with one mind, one spirit, and we come with one accord. Yeah. Oh, bless the name of our God. I praise God that it's enough spirit in each of us that we can come together and reason together. Yeah. Even if we're not agreed upon, the spirit of the Lord will say, yes, yes, you have to walk with one another. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. One with another to, to get where God is taking us to, to flow in his blessings. We have to be of one mind, one spirit, one accord. Amen. 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 So, tell your neighbor, mm -hmm. the neighbor, neighbor, we are alive. We are alive. Mm -hmm. Ain't that dead? Amen. Now, some, some ministries need to be in the cemetery. Watch out. You just need to have a service. Amen. Have a memorial service. Dig a big hole and just say, church, fall in. No spirit, no life. They've left God. Our God knocking on the door. Jesus knocking on the door. The Holy Ghost knocking on the door trying to get in. And we still in there going through our protocol. Y'all see what I'm saying? You ever met folk that they know so much about discipline but, but don't know anything about God's word? Yeah. Know how to do the order of the church, but you don't know how to flow in order in God. Oh, hallelujah. In his church. Amen. The way that you know you are in order when you're flowing in the things of God, when the Spirit said moon left, it's like hokey pokey. <laughs> Move to the left. <laughs> Move to the right. Oh, I'm to the and back it up. Oh, thank you. Oh, I forgot what it was. I'm sorry. Hey, hey. But, but, but see, it's a church that's alive. And when you're being led by God, you move by God, you do the way God said do it. Amen. You know, I'm talking about moving to the left, moving to the right. Sometimes it takes just stand still. Amen. That's right. Just stand still. And I think about it and see the salvation of the Lord. But then I can remember my grandmother singing a song that Jesus is alive. Yes. How do you know it? I can feel it mm. in my hand. In my hand. Yeah. I can feel it in my feet. And every now and then I feel them. Oh, bless it. I, I love that song, y'all. Because yeah. if nothing else, that song gives me permission to move. Amen. Amen. That I can move my hands, I can move my feet, I can just move all over just to think of the goodness of Jesus. Why? Because he's alive and, and his spirit is living big within me. Amen. Well, Mount Hebron, we are a church that's alive. You've Amen. heard the choir singing, you've heard the prayers prayed, and, and you've even heard Reverend Carnetta come up here and try to read scripture, and she got excited. She was ready to take a text. It's because this church is alive. Amen. We recognize God is in control. That we couldn't do anything without God. We recognize that His Spirit moves from beginning to end. I praise God that it doesn't matter who's in charge. 
wonder what we're doing. His spirit is in this place. See, he just didn't show up at 10 o'clock, but when we are in church school, the spirit of the Lord is moving freely in this house. Well, then I must take my seat. My hero, you've been so good. You, you've entertained and said, Pastor, you can preach for a few minutes, but I'm going to take the last two minutes just to just set it up to let you know that we are alive. Why? Because there is hope in the Lord. Yeah. You see, it's not hope in the world, not hope in the candidate to be president, not hope in the governor of the state of South Carolina, but there is hope in the Lord. Yeah. Am, am I right about it? Do you yeah. know that that's why we praise God? Because yeah. our hope is in the Lord. Yeah. That's why we say hallelujah anyhow, because our hope is in Amen. And I'm glad about it. 
Some of you know that. Your old nature is your old nature. You've got a new nature in Jesus. Amen. And so as Reverend Carnetta continues to encourage us and remind us, saints, stay in the word. Amen. My wife and I, we were talking about that's the one consonant we've had our whole ministry. We've always told folks, don't, don't base your life on the mortgage. Because right. it just depends on what day it is. Amen. 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 But base it on his word. Amen. And you will forever be blessed. Every head bow, let us pray. God, we thank you for this preaching opportunity. We've come together just to be a spokesperson. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God, for, for a word to your people to, that we are yet alive and we live in Christ. Thank you, God, for meeting us. It's in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.